Before you purchase the Aquamatic shower heater, or if you've already purchased it before you install it, please take the time to watch this very important video. Now the heater does come in both 110 and 220 voltage. Today we'll be discussing the 110 heater. The proper use and installation guide is as follows. There are some important steps that you must follow to ensure your safety. And this also will ensure the best performance for this heater. Here are, are some of the minimum requirements needed for the 110 voltage installation. First you're going to need a GFI outlet. And that should be within four feet of the shower head. Now this shower heater does not come with an extension cord so it's very important that you follow the recommendation of the manufacturer that no extension cords should be used for this heater. Now the heater on its high setting will pull 28 amps so it is important that you have a minimum of a 30 amp circuit associated with this GFI outlet. Failure to have these minimum requirements can result in severe damage, fire, injury, or even death. When in doubt, always consult a professional. This is for your safety. Now here are some of the tools and accessories needed for the proper installation. First you're going to need some Teflon tape and you'll need an adjustable wrench to tighten your shower heater to your shower pipe. So remove your existing shower head. Now you're going to install or wrap the threads with Teflon tape. This should be done in a clockwise manner and at least four revolutions. It's not recommended that you use any pipe dope or, or putty. Now it's time to install your new Aquamatic shower heater. This has a half inch fitting which should coincide with your half inch standard half inch shower pipe. You should screw the shower head to your pipe after you've applied the Teflon tape. Now this heater does come with the cord wrapped and bound so it's really a good idea to leave that tied together until this is completed. Do not plug the heater into the power source until you have followed the final steps. You need to open the cold water faucet to run water through the heater for a minimum of 10 seconds to avoid damage to the heating element. This is very important. The heating element is fragile and if it has power to it when it's dry it will crack, crack and this could result in injury and it also will cause a warranty failure. This company does not provide warranty for that type of failure. So let's recap what we're going to do. Be sure you have the proper equipment. That's the 30 amp circuit and a GFI outlet within four feet. Remove the old shower head and prep the pipe with Teflon tape clockwise minimum four revolutions. Attach your new Aquamatic shower heater to the existing shower pipe. Now remember, this is very important again. Before you apply power for the first use, you must run water through the heater for a minimum of 10 seconds. Now you can plug your heater in and enjoy your new shower. This is not intended for use if your incoming water temperature is below 65 degrees as the maximum output rise is 18 to 20 degrees. If you have any questions or if you'd like to buy your own, please visit our website at www.tanklesshq.com. Thank you.